Well, I think uh, both robotic and human exploration has a lot to contribute to solving the asteroid hazard to the Earth. So robots do reconnaissance, they bring back samples of what asteroids are made of. If uh, NASA can capture an asteroid and give, it, uh, give access to astronauts in the next 10 years, as they've proposed, then we'll get a lot of important civil engineering information from the astronaut uh, explorations of that object, uh, particularly about the internal structure of the body and how one is put together. And even a small asteroid could be a larger component of some big rubble pile that could threaten Earth someday. So we'll learn some very good planetary defense information. But I think when it comes to actually executing a deflection of an asteroid, that's going to be done robotically, and you might send a whole uh, formation of spacecraft, all robots, to make sure that the job gets done properly. What are some of the strategies for harmless deflection? Well, there are three main ones. The most elegant is probably the gravity tractor. If you have a small asteroid with lots of warning time, you can park next to an asteroid and the mutual gravitational tug will slowly change the velocity of that object uh, as your spacecraft tows it with this minuscule amount of gravity. So that you can make it miss its appointment with Earth 10 or 20 years later. Uh, probably the most broadly applicable technique would be the kinetic impact where you fly a hypervelocity spacecraft into the body and that transfers enough momentum that firing a bullet into it changes its velocity so that it misses its appointment later on with Earth. And if you have little warning time and a very large object, you might have to resort to a nuclear explosive, but we already know that that's only one or two percent of the possible impact cases we might see in the next thousand years. So it's not likely we'd have to use that. Another new one that's just been mentioned is uh, you can take a solar electric uh, rocket motor um, an ion engine, and your spacecraft can actually direct the plume of exhaust onto the asteroid, and by maintaining formation with the asteroid and pluming it, that's actually more powerful than, than the gravity tractor might be, and so you're harnessing solar energy to divert the asteroid, and that could be a, an effective technique too, should be explored. Space.com.